So I had a bit of an issue since the last one. You might notice that my talent points are actually a little lower and my strength might actually be a little lower. Well, I'm saying strength, I mean weight as in carrying capacity because um, yeah, I had a bit of a computer issue and I do back up my saves and it turns out I didn't back up the last one at the end of the last episode like I should have because that would have been the correct thing to do and for some reason I did not do that. I, I don't know why. So here we are. I'm kind of back tracking a little bit, but um, I'm not going to do what I did on the last episode. Instead, I'm going to do, well, something different because uh, necessity sometimes dictates how I do things or when I do things or what I do. So we're going to do something different. So you can see I'm carrying a bunch of junk and part of that is for a reason and part of it is just because I'm carrying a bunch of junk. I'm gonna go ahead and make a boat paddle re right quick and that thing weighs too much. Can I put you in there? Good, perfect. That will have to be sufficient for the moment because I need to get back to our little base here. Itty bitty little base. We're gonna open the door here and let me close you. And where am I at? Okay, so I have a bunch of junk in here. That is fine. I need to do a couple of things before we go too far here. So let me, well here, let me drop some of this junk for one here. Let's just drop the treasure maps in there. We're gonna put them and the sapling in there and uh, maybe that wrought iron pickaxe. And let me resort this junk. I know I'm carrying a lot of stuff I don't really need right now, but we'll actually be using a touch of it here shortly. Let me grab that rock and then um, there's a large rock. No, that's not one I want, I don't think. Do I have one in here maybe? No, all right, well then maybe maybe I do need that, that rock. Oh, that one will work just fine. There we go, I wanted a mortar and pestle. So let's go ahead and make some tannin. And then we're going to go ahead and pull a leather hide out from this guy and I'm going to tan that leather. There we go, so we got some leather and then I'm gonna go ahead and put you back in there because I don't need you for the time being. Now, let us make, oh, let's see, we need to do some kindling here and some tinder. Not walk on the fire. That would be a good thing to do, not walk on the fire, that is. So we're gonna go ahead and start that bad boy up. Let's cook us up some water here and we're gonna make some glue too because maybe we can, maybe we can't. There we go, there's some glue. Let's purify some water, that'll be fine. All right, that of course used some of our water to do that, but so be it. Let's reinforce with glue and reinforce with glue because why not? That'll give us a little more life on that guy there. We can always make another hammer. It kind of stinks. I had a nice blue hammer that I made. That one no longer exists, I don't think. That's kind of a shame. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be a good start. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of other things too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make a rope, that'll work. And then I'm going to need to go smack on some trees a little more. That's one of the things we're going to do. Something else I would like to do is we're going to gather that guy. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I might need one more. I think I need one more. Let's try that. Collect that object. There we go. We're gonna make a water skin of medicinal water. I've been trying to make medicine for this entire series. And now I finally have some. It only took a while. A little, little while, long, little, long, little while, little, long while, long, little while. I don't know, something, whatever. Let me go back this way because we need to go collect some more water again. I don't know that we need to, but I just would like to. I feel a little, um, I don't like seeing that we don't really have much water. I mean, okay, we got two right there. Well, actually, you know what? I guess we're fine. I take it back. I thought there was one more that I had. Maybe, uh, uh eh, well, yeah, there's that one right there. We're, we're not gonna worry about that one then, never mind. Instead, since I am standing in front of this tree, I'm going to smash it a little bit. And then let's go ahead and make a bunch of poles. Pole, 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 pole. Oh, there we go, I think we ran out of them. Let's see if that's enough, because we're going to do something a little different. We're going to end this episode in a very specific way, but until we get to that point, we're not going to do that. Let me grab that rope. And there we go, there it is. We're going to make a bull boat. Now the reason why we're doing that is technically the bull boat, I believe at this point of the game is how you win. Now we don't actually have what it takes to win right now. So we're going to try and do that before we run out for the day. Can we reinforce you with melted amber? Wow, um, 
we really need a, a hammer now, don't we? We really do. So let's go ahead and grab, do we have some wrought iron just ready to go? Can we make a hammer? What is that going to take? A wrought iron hammer. We need another hammer to make a hammer. So I guess we don't really need that. We can just instead make a hammer. I guess we don't really need a hammer to make a hammer when we can just make a hammer, especially an exceptional stone hammer. At that point, eh, you know, whatever. It's fine. Here, let's go ahead and drop you back into there. I think that should put you in there. And then I'm going to drop that boat in there for the time being because we don't need that for right now. And I guess we can drop all those twigs, drop all the bark, drop all of the ash. We don't need that stone. This guy I'm going to put in my bag. And I think we're pretty much good to go. We can go uh, we can go do a little exploration to kind of round this episode out. So we didn't really do a whole lot of exploration on the last one. Um, let's put you in there. We don't need you for the moment. Those worms are going to decay. I'm just not going to worry about them. And I guess we can just go ahead and eat these guys right now. We'll just eat them. And then we might need to come back for some water later. So we can take care of that a little later. We're just going to drink that water right now. You know what? Let's just go and rest. That's a bad idea to rest with the door open. There we go. Just smash the harpy in with my gauntleted fist and also chopper in the face because, you know, that works out pretty well too. We need a torch, so let's go make a torch right quick. We do need to do that. So I guess I can smash on this tree again with my fist. There we go. I'll go ahead and use that. Going to need a bunch of stripped bark, so that means we need to get a bunch of tree limbs here, some sticks, branches, whatever, words. Come on. Oh, I hurt my hands. I didn't realize I had destroyed it already. Good, let's go ahead and grab this guy. I'm gonna take that off. Come on, Harpy. There we go, and just chop you up. Oh, we got a hobgoblin coming in. Uh, and we don't really have... Uh, here, let's go ahead and just repair you then. Nope. Repair you. There we go. That'll work for right now. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're actually good. There we go. I think we're good. And then we will still need a wooden pole. So there we go. There's a wooden pole. I realized I used my sword to do that. Crud, I didn't mean to use my sword to do that one. That was unintentional. I don't want to walk through my own deadfall trap just in case it actually goes off. That would be terrible. All right, my fire has gone out. That's inconvenient. Yes, you are really out. That's really inconvenient. Tinder and kindling. And then we'll open up number one. Start the fire. All right, here, let's go ahead and stoke the fire with all sorts of crud. Because we can. Make a torch. And we're going to go ahead and ignite that torch. It's not a very good one. It'll... It'll do the job and throw a sapling on there. Oh, stoke the fire. Whatever. It's all good. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Well, you know, let's pull that. Now, we should be fine with our sword for right now. We should be, I think. Possibly. We can repair it a few times, although we're going to run out of the number of times we can really repair it. That's going to... It's not going to last very long because... You're losing 50% of your durability when you do that. So let's go dive into the cave one more time and see if there's anything around. I'm trying to remember how far we've gone in all this area. Pretty far, I think. Um, didn't mean to pick up an animal skull. I have a really bad habit of picking up stuff. Have you noticed that? Picking up stuff, running into things, you name it. I kind of do all of it. This is not an exceptional torch, and I swear that it has a better range than they used to. Maybe that was changed. Maybe I just don't remember. I just must not remember. That makes the most sense, right? I wouldn't think it would change that much. Nope, don't run into that. Looking for some more treasure. Treasure chests, scrolls, whatever. I don't really care. Any of that stuff is good in my book. Let's see, we've already been back here, and that is a dead end, All right? It's kind of a shame. Could try and carve out a new path.
path in here. That'd be really time consuming with all the rocks I'd end up having to drop. That gets a little, uh, little juggly as it so happens. Not what I meant to do. I'm gonna drop you and drop you. We're going to keep that sharp rock though, just because we might want that. Never know. Kill the rat there. I don't want you to get away from me. Silly rat. Guess we could cut out some of the, the rocks to get over there and see if there's anything there, but I suspect there isn't. Ah, dang it. Stop that. I'm really good at doing that, which is not a good thing. Okay, let's cross over here. Um, look at that. Coming more agile. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Raw blind fish, huh? I don't know what that is, but it's dead now. Okay, there's a nice cave entrance there. We've already been over here, of course. Let's go this way a little more. Maybe there's some more land somewhere we can go over here. I don't know. This would be a good place to have a raft. Am I carrying a raft? I'm not carrying a raft. Good. Ghost. How's it going, ghosty? Ghosty McGhost. Uh, stone spear. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's not really the best weapon in the world, but I'll take it. It's a free one. But I won't argue that point. Okay, we've already been kind of over there. So we do have some new area in this kind of location here. We need to stop and drink some water now. We are pretty close to the point that we are running out. I think technically we could start a fire down here if we really wanted. Just fill up some, uh, some more water in here and start a campfire and then we can cook some more water up. What are you? Are you a spider? Giant spider. Well, let's go ahead and take the silk. Doesn't weigh very much. I am trying to think a little bit about weight here, so... I know, we do have some free space and obviously have some bags and backpacks and that sort of thing to carry stuff around in, so, you know, it's cool. Pretty slim on the treasure chest today, huh? Especially after taking a bunch of time to go find the treasure maps or locate the treasure chest on the treasure map. Man, how about that first one, huh? That was painful. Wasn't sure what I was doing. And then it all clicked, duh. After that, it all made sense. Oh, that's interesting. That looks man-made. Crud, didn't mean to do that. Drop, drop, drop it, you drop. Have we been over to that cave entrance? Oh, well, look at that, we have. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, because if I pop out right here, there's all sorts of junk around. Cool. I wonder what happens if we pop out in that one. I'm not going to, but I'm just curious. I liked how that one has a treasure chest in the spot where a cave entrance is. Not quite sure how that works out. I'm not going to argue the point because there's a treasure chest. Even if it didn't have what I personally wanted in it, it wasn't bad, necessarily. Black powder. That must be first road to guns, huh? Black powder, saltpeter, carbon powder, and a mortar and pestle, huh? No, yeah, no clue right now. I mean, nope, can't make saltpeter apparently, so that doesn't do a whole lot of good right now, if that's the case. It's all right, though. It's all good. Still surprised we've only found one scroll thus far. Maybe I've walked past something and missed it. That's always a possibility. Sometimes you're looking in a different spot or something grabs your attention and you just walk right past something without even realizing it. Drop those guys. Okay. Nope. Drop you. Totally just ruining my my sword here. Which might be a bad thing. I mean, that might really be a bad thing. I need it. It's like kind of it's kind of nice. I've kind of grown attached to it, you know. It's killed a lot of things for me, so 
Let's not destroy it. At least try not to. Maybe I should be walking around with that spear instead of the sword. Oh. Um, well, let's see if we can kill the crab here. And I'm bleeding. Nope, I'm bleeding. Wow, that guy's tough. Very tough. Can I carve you up? What do I get from you? Talc and limestone and iron ore. Oh, that's interesting. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. That's an interesting way to get some extra materials. That's pretty cool. This game is always surprising me, I must say. Oh, and the torch is toast. I guess that means it's time to get out of here, huh? If the torch is toast, then I can't see much. And that must mean that I need my sword handy now. Alrighty then, I, I didn't really need that leather, but... Is that what I got? Leather? Yeah, tanned leather. Alright, but I'll take it. Whatever, it's all good, I guess. Something. Let's get out of here. Ow! Don't run into that. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, I need to stop because I am killing myself with weight here. There's our raft. It's still lying there. It's unexpected, right? Bunch of rocks. And now we can move normally again. Good. All right, let's uh, let's find our way back. I think. Stop that. Stop that. I'm gonna blame the cat on that one. I, I was petting her, so it's all her fault. Had she not done that, um, I, I she had she not made me pet her, then we would have been fine. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm gonna run with that. That is my story, and I am sticking to it. Ah, crud. There goes the spear. And I didn't even really want that bark. Kind of need some water here. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And some food. Oh, hi. How's it going? Uh, do we have anything else we can use as a weapon? Not really, because I just dropped everything. You know, let's grab the hammer. Let's grab the hammer! So we got a nymph coming in. How's it going, imp? All right. Bleeding. Let us take care of that. And then I don't really want those gloves. Those are just going to weigh me down. Dying of dehydration. I'm trying to take care of that, but it's going to be a little while. Gotta, gotta walk a little bit here. Trust me. I know. I need a drink here. Negative one. I don't want to go down that way. We're really close, too. That's the thing. There it is. See? Look at that. And look how well I navigated, too. That doesn't happen very often. All right, I need to sort this junk. Where is everything? I'm carrying around a block of wood for some reason. Didn't even realize that. I, I mean, clearly I picked that up a while ago, but didn't even realize that. All right, let's get you in there and you in there. Sort it one more time just to make sure everything looks correct. Good. Let's go ahead and move along then. The sword's looking pretty hideous now. Dying of dehydration. Yep. I'm working on it. Hmm. Hobgoblin was hurt by a trap. I wonder if that was my trap or someone else's trap. Because I saw a hobgoblin snare on the map. Well, not my deadfall trap because that thing is still open. All right. Close the door. And you know what? We can probably carve this up and get some chicken here because we're going to need that. And then let's make some kindling and some crud. I need to make some tinder. I don't have what I need to make tinder. I think I have some in a box, actually. Look at that. There's some tinder. Good. Perfect. And let's go ahead and start a fire. Started a fire. And let's go ahead and... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, meant to do that one and that one. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and drink that. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was totally not what I intended to do. Not at all. Um, can I... Oh, I don't have a tool to cook the chicken with. Ah, bummer. Um, hmm, okay. Let's open the door then. Here, I guess we'll put the sword away. We'll hit the tree with a hammer. It's totally not the right thing, but whatever. It'll work just fine. Come on. No, don't walk on the fire, you dummy. 
Cook the chicken. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and eat that chicken. And I should probably put these guys back in there and go get more water. So why don't we go ahead and do that right quick? Uh, can I can I cook an earthworm? I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it. Yummy, yummy earthworm. Why not? Right? Why not? Well, you know what? Uh, here, let's do one more thing right quick. Let's go ahead and make some amber, and then let's see if we can reinforce that guy, and then we'll repair it now. Which I know it's kind of backwards. I know, whatever. It's too late. I already did it. Can't take it back. Come here, Imp. What's up? Oop, wrong button. I meant to attack you. What do you get if you carve up an imp? Hmm. I guess tainted meat. I don't really want tainted meat. Tainted love? Maybe. Tainted meat? Not so much. And I don't really want... I don't really want that either. I'll return that to the world. Let's go grab a little more water here. I don't know that we really have what we need, unfortunately, so we're, we'll see how this goes. Let's gather some water, gather some water. And there are kind of, uh, I do have an option, depending on how things go. Okay, we'll carve you up. There we go. Got some nice raw meat from that snake. That snake has been there for most of the game. Feels kind of bad to kill that snake, but uh, oh well. I'll get over it. Snake won't get over it, but I'll get over it. I need to drop some stuff off here too, carrying way too much. I mean, obviously, I can barely move, so definitely carrying too much. But it's all right. I think we'll, I think we'll get it figured out. Um, hobgoblin has been hurt by a trap again. I don't know where the hobgoblin is, but it has been hurt by a trap. Ah, dang it! Stupid thing. Ah, uh. all right. Open the door. Come on, tree. Give me what I need. Give me fuel for my fire because that's what I desire. And then we should probably cook a fish too. Okay, so... Kindling. Tinder. And then uh, we're only going to get one more out of that. That's fine, that'll be enough. Let's close the door. And not walk into that chest, because I don't really mean to do that. All right, light you up again. And then we are going to cook fish and cook some meat. There we go. There goes that pole. It is now toasted. Cook some water up. There we go. And then I'm going to throw this food stuff in there. Food stuff, you go in there. Where did that fish go? Right there. Okay, so we got a bunch of food. And we have some water, and we have a bunch of junk to get rid of, too. So let's, um, I guess we can drop all of those into, oops, that's not what I meant. Crud. Come on, try it again. Okay, can I move all those to open the container? That's what I meant to do. Ah, man. Some days. Some days. Let's drop this stuff in here. We're going to... Move all those guys, move all those guys. Move you, move you. I guess we'll move that one. We don't really need the ash. We're gonna move that to peat. We'll keep the peat just for now. Move that to the open container because we don't really need that for right now. And I think we're pretty much good to go. I'm gonna close that guy up and put my hammer in there just to save on a little bit of weight. I guess, um, is it this guy? Yeah, this guy has a bunch of these here. Let's move, oops, move all those. And you know what, that too, just because. All right, so we're going to grab a couple things here. I'm gonna grab the sword, I'm gonna grab the boat. And that boat weighs quite a bit. I'm gonna do that. And then I think, and this guy, yeah, see, this is what really stinks. I lost one of my treasure, because that, well, because I'm an idiot and broke my computer. Well, I didn't break my computer, but ah, what can I say? Things did not work out as I intended, and things are not working out as I intended, but sometimes that's the world for you. 
And this is where I think things are going to wrap up. So let me go ahead and pull my boat out and let's see if we can do this. There we go. This is how you win the game when you have enough treasure. I don't have enough treasure, so I didn't win the game, but sometimes things just come to an end. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and say, had I not lost my treasure, which um, it still wouldn't have been enough, then we would have actually won the game. But I think aside from being able to see how guns work, I've actually seen quite a bit and I'm pretty pleased with what I've seen of this game and actually pretty pleased with what I've seen of its development since I've been playing too. You don't always say that about a game in early access. Sometimes they don't change a whole lot or they do it's just minor little stuff that no one cares about. And this one, this one has definitely changed in significant ways, not the least of which is this option right here. Mouse click movement. <laughs> thank you very much for that unlock. I truly can't thank you enough because even with it off, I still walk into fires, but with it off, I walk into them far, far, far less often than I did when it was on. So for that, you have my eternal thanks and gratitude. And I have greatly enjoyed playing this game. And this is one that actually I think I'd like to come back to and stream with. I think that'd be a lot of fun. This um, is the kind of game that I think would play well streaming. And sometimes things work out well in different formats. To me, this is a good, really good streaming game. So you could just really sit down and play for a while and really just get into it and see what happens. And I'm starving to death now. Good, guess I need to eat. Let me go ahead and eat that. Wow. Wow, all of my stuff is gone just like that. Holy cow, it actually consumed it like entirely. Wow, that hurts. But anyway, I have enjoyed it. I hope you have too. It's been a lot of fun. So one more time, thank you to Unlock for providing the key that has allowed us to enjoy this game and really have a lot of fun with it. I'm actually surprised I didn't get killed by a Kraken, but um, I don't know. Sometimes life is surprising that way. What can you do? Anyway, catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.